for today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this look using one double-ended brush, one eyeliner, and one eyeshadow. So let's get started. And we're going to start off with the shadow and I'm using what I would typically use as my transition shade, but you can pick any shade that you want, provided that it's at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And I'm going to take the blending side of this Blank Canvas Cosmetics E40, E41 brush. This is the soft, fluffy side, and we're going to start to apply this starting on the outer edge, blending across the lid and into the crease. I just wanted to pause it real quick here to show you that it can look a little bit patchy when you start to blend an eyeshadow. The reason for this is because my base was a little damp. The best way to fix this is just to keep blending and applying a very, very small amount of shadow and just keep that blending nice and light, really working it across the lid. Once you've got a nice wash of color across the lid and slightly into the crease, we're then going to work on the crease a little bit more. So your crease is where your eyelid creases into your eye shape and basically means anywhere above this point. But the deepest, darkest tone should be right in that crease area and then blending up to nothing. And I want to talk about two ways to blend. One is to keep your hand high. And this will prevent your eyeshadows from blending up too far. So it keeps it as a low blend. So keeping your hand high on the face will provide a lower blend. Another way to blend is to keep your hand quite low and flat against the face. This means that the tip of the brush is going to very lightly blend above the crease. Two very different ways of blending, but creating pretty much the same results. Now that we have our base done, we're going to move on to using the liner. The liner that I've chosen is quite similar to the shadows that we're using, so they're going to work really well together. So I'm going to take the pencil and I'm just going to glide this on this outer third of the lid. This is going to work as our kind of contoured effect. So apply a very small amount of this in this area and then you're going to take your flat side of the brush. This is the double-ended brush I talked about. And you're going to very slightly smudge and blend this in. And what you want to do is just to very slowly build this up by applying some of the pencil and then smudging it out. Cool thing about this pencil is the more you work with it, the deeper and darker it goes, which I really like. Now I want to take that liner and use it in a different way. I have that contoured effect on the outer third done. What I want to do is just to glide the pencil across the lash line. And this will give you a very different effect because we're not going to smudge this in. I'm also going to apply this along my waterline and underneath the eyes as well. Just a nice, simple look. Apply some lashes, lots of mascara, and there you go. Couldn't be easier. Just one shadow, one pencil, and you're good to go.